Yes, good morning. It's winter here in Germany, so I have to shoot with my lights on. Uh, so today's news is that uh, all the hardware has arrived. Well, actually a week ago. Just getting around to the video now. Uh, for the Nissan Leaf drop-in board and for the the new um, well main board in general. So let's take a look at it. Yes, here it is. The new Nissan Leaf drop-in board, or at least the mechanical part of it. So the architecture here is to uh, design like a mechanical and electrical adapter board for each like OEM inverter that's out there. So here we have the Nissan Leaf inverter, but there's also the i3 and hmm, Renault Zoe and whatnot will come around on the scrap cards. And the idea is to take over control <coughs> of the probably well-designed power electronics and whack on our open source logic to have more configuration options. Um, <coughs> so just briefly what's happening here is uh, we have a bit of glue logic to the fault feedback pins, like there's two, probably under voltage lockout and DSAT. And we just put them into an AND gate and make it one signal back to the logic board. Mm, then there's a couple of pull-up resistors for the temperature and bus voltage measurement, which is a PWM in this case. So the higher the vo bus voltage, uh, the wider the PWM, and the higher the temperature, the wider the PWM. And I hope it's all uh, linearized, in fact. That's a good thing. Um, so what we do with all this PWM stuff is we put it into a low-pass filter, one here and one here. And we also uh, do some voltage dividing from 5 volt to 3.3 volts to be able to use the full dynamic range. And there's another low-pass filter on the main board, making this essentially a two-pass, a two-pole low-pass filter. Okay, so then what happens here? We plug in the main board. Oh no. Here we go. And if you want, at least while we're configuring, we can plug in the Wi-Fi module. It even works uh, from inside these shielded cases. It's quite amazing. Okay, so the last missing component, unfortunately. So uh, these connectors were um, high rose connectors. I found them with Damien's help on DigiKey, and that's not a problem. What is a problem is this main connector that Nissan use. Mm, you will not be able to find it on, find it on mouse or DigiKey. Uh, in fact, you will be able to find it on Tyco's website and it's all top secret. They um, don't even re reveal the data sheet. So, um, yeah, unfortunately you're gonna have to salvage uh, it from the original logic board using a torch or a hot air gun or something. Uh, yeah, I'm still, as you can see, still have to do that. Yes, so as I said, the whole point of this is to uh, take over the control over the inverter. Um, I mean, you could use uh, leave the original logic board in there. Some people have figured out the CAN messages to get it going. But with this, you just have more configuration options and software upgrades in the future. And you could even work your own software on there. And I'm pretty sure you can get more power than the stock um, 80 kilowatts, I think it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can get more power out of it. Okay, so much on the new Nissan Leaf logic board. Um, I will definitely be releasing the, the main board pretty soon as a populated board. Partly at least. You will have to fit some resistors and capacitors to select between resolver and encoder operation. 
And yes, I've been I've asked for an offer from a local assembly house. Haven't heard back from them, but as soon as I do, and I have the boards here, I can put them on sale. Yes. Uh, so apart from that, um, I am. As I think I mentioned before, I'm also looking into a new conversion. I want to actually put this whole Nissan Leaf stuff uh, to use in a rather long-range car. I'm thinking it's definitely going to be a, a Volkswagen again. And probably with some utility, so like a Caddy, Touran, Charan, something like that. I haven't finally decided. And I've already partly purchased uh, two Nissan Leaf battery packs. So that's um, 48, 48 kilowatt hours. So that will give some good range. And yeah, that project is gonna come soon. I'm gonna do videos on it. So I hope you do like the new um, logic board and mainboard architecture. Leave a comment uh, down below. If you would like to adapt this uh, to your own uh, inverter you have flying around, uh, I do have Eagle footprints available for the you know three main belt connectors, and yeah, you can go ahead and design an adap adapter board with quite little work. I think that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.